Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video we are going to install a new ROM called uh, Evolution X. Well Evolution X is not a new ROM but it is the, the Android 12 has been released for our device Poco M3. And we are having the unofficial version of Evolution X. First of all we will do all the wipes as you can see over here and we will do the data format too well i have already finished the data formatting and uh, stuff like that so what we are going to do is we are going to flash the latest vendor for that we are going to use the decrypted vendor so let's flash the vendor first so we have finished flashing the vendor so once the vendor has been flashed let me wipe the caches and come back then i will do a recovery reboot well this is something that i always do so if you want to do that definitely you can do that if you have some other way well there is nothing wrong with it you can follow your own way let the recovery reboot rebooted let's go to our sd card and uh, start flashing the rom so here we are let us start flashing the rom so as you can see that we are flashing evolution x the latest unofficial version so let me move the camera a little bit closer to the to the phone so let us leave it and uh, let it so we have finished flashing the rom so let me wipe the cache and what i'm going to do is i'm going to install the latest uh, moonbase prof citrus kernel which is 4.19.226 so after flashing the rom let's install the kernel as you can see the kernel is installing now so once kernel has been flashed we need to flash magisk so basically we will go over here and uh, select the magisk module let us go for 23.0 you can choose the latest one if, if you prefer to flash it there is nothing wrong with that well once you are using the decrypted vendor always remember to use magisk otherwise you will have boot loop so let us finish flashing the magisk so in this step flashing the rom first we have used the decrypted uh, vendor second we have flashed the rom third we have flashed the custom kernel well flashing kernel is your choice if you prefer to have the stock kernel there is nothing wrong with that you can go for the stock kernel and finally we are flashing the magisk otherwise we will have boot loop we are nearly completing flashing uh, um, magisk So let us wipe the caches and uh, reboot. Fine, we have seen the POCO splash screen. Soon I guess it will uh, have the boot animation. Okay, fine. So here we are. We have seen the boot animation of evolution. Wow, the boot animation looks really cool. Now we right now we have finished flashing the rom so this is the initial setup screen so let us change the region to english and india get started let's begin this step okay so there are some steps involved let us go for setup online and click on continue okay so basically i don't want to send the usage and diagnostic diagnostic data to google let us ac accept whatever they are saying well not now later i will set it up skip yes we have finished setting up the uh, evolution rom so the rest i will post it as a screen record so here we are we have finished flashing the evolution x rom onto our poco m3 now as you can see that we have a very good black themed wallpaper which is excellent i really love the wallpaper 
first of all we all know evolution x and uh, we might have used it during one point of switching between the roms so basically as you can see they have kept the stock um, the the stock layout for the quick settings now as you can see the rom is overall smooth and it is really nice look the app launching is pretty much good i know there is a small amount of jitter but nothing to worry about it so um this is the gapps version and these all are the application that you get uh, with the rom well uh, i have in, i have uh, fla I mean, installed magis kind of screen recorder separate uh, apart from that everything comes as stock first of all let us take a look at the system specification as you can as you know that this is the unofficial version of evolution x and the android version is 12 and uh, as we have seen from the um, flashing procedure itself from the recovery itself i have changed the kernel to latest fury prof kernel so um, the ac linux status over here is enforcing and we got this build from our friend avinash so he has compiled the rom and it was a nice job of him to compile uh, the rom for poco m3 so that we could get an experience of android 12 evolution x on our device and as you can see that it is the latest security update that we have it is the 5th january security update that is with the rom now moving on to the rom itself we all are familiar with the um, Android 12 user interface and the default launcher that is being used by the ROM is Google launcher. So uh, not many customizations we get from the Google launcher but let's have a look if we have the pixel widgets. Um, as you can see, well I cannot find any widgets which is relating to clock or something like that. Look, nothing over here. So I am not sure why. So basically uh, whether I need to update the complete application from play store or not i'm not sure that but we i didn't see any pixel widgets with the rom so let us go to the settings page and see how it looks like well in even with the settings page it is the default layout that the settings page is having and um, uh, we get swipe screenshot option over here from the gestures so that is something different in this rom this one swipe to screenshot in some roms it was missing so that's just something that i wanted to show you so let's come back to the settings page and let's take the evolver which is their customization settings so first of all we will have the themes either we can have the monet engine or else we can use the custom color which is really nice and even with the dark theme i think we are getting some options for the dark theme so let us enable the dark theme and as you can see we are getting some options for the dark theme which is really nice so we have material option uh, choco x i'm not sure but i cannot see any theme color changing but yeah you get i guess it is changing it is not something clear to me i hope it is changing yeah it is changing yeah it changes so i don't I don't really like uh, um, like dark theme so let us disable it again and go back to the page right so we are going to get some nice fonts with the ROM as default so that is also really great you get a lot of choices of fonts now icon shape we can we are also getting some icon shapes icon pack then we can customize the signal okay fine so that is really wonderful so we can uh, customize the uh, signal um, signal plus wi-fi 2 so let us keep it as xperia that's really great isn't it yeah that's really great and the second thing is uh, thing that we have the second customization option that we have the second customization option that we have is status bar so first of all it is status bar items that we have we can enable and disable what all things that need not to display and stuff like that then comes the clock and date settings then comes the traffic indicator so basically we are going to put it into status bar and we get dynamic download or upload so these all are the options that we have with the traffic indicator then comes the battery style let's keep it as text 
but you get quite a lot of battery styles then if you want the then you also get an option to display where you want the percentage to 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 display either you want it left or right which is really nice then you can see the show notification count if you want to then you have some options like if you don't want to see the data disabled i can definitely you can uh, disable that and even a volite indicator so basically you have some volite um, icon options over here which is really nice and yeah which is really great so let us disable that my can camera privacy indicator location privacy indicator and the roaming indicator you have okay let's come back and let's select the notification as you can see under the notification section you get ambient edge lightning um, kill up button then battery light i don't think we have battery light so nothing important in it then coming to quick settings yeah the first option is really nice secure quick setting style requires unlocking so imagine if your phone is locked and if someone wants to mess up with your quick settings yeah it requires unlocking so that is a really um, good feature so if you want to hide the quick settings in a secure lock screen you can also do that then if you want to enable the battery um, battery estimate definitely you can do that i didn't see any estimate uh, in the quick settings maybe i just flash the rom so it takes quite a while to understand the battery usage and stuff like that then we get the option to customize the uh, brightness slider whether you want to display it in the bottom or on the top and if you want adaptive brightness button of course you can enable that and as you can see it works <laughs> okay so these all are the options that you get in the quick settings and next is power menu so the power menu is kind of traditional power menu that you are having so nothing um, can be customized over there but you get some options if you want to add a flashlight on the go mode these are things that you get then is the lock screen so if you want to have the small clock on your lock screen that means once notif notification is on your um, lock screen the clock uh, reduces its size so that is something that does like that so ripple effect if you want to show that then comes the gestures so first of all we have the system gestures these all i mean yeah quite a lot of gestures are over here so um these all are the gesture options that are available with the roam then if you select the system navigation you can see two button navigation three button navigation gesture navigation and with the full screen gesture over here even you can adjust the pill length with this row so um tap on lock screen to sleep tap on status bar to sleep tap to wake on doors these sort of things i don't use so that is about the lock screen then comes the button it's the usual customization option that you have over here then animations screen of animation usual stuff then uh, comes the miscellaneous you get game space if you are a regular game player you can enable the game spa space then toast app icon then use burn protection and show cpu information which is no which is not happening over here okay so that is about the customization option that is available with the with the row um so if you come to wallpaper and style you can see you get a themed icons with the row and i guess themed icon is not working or maybe some issues are there now it's not working so let's try to see if we have some nice wallpapers available of course we do have some nice uh, wallpapers so let us try to use some other wallpaper okay let's see how it is working all right so here we are oh fine so that's really great and it's really awesome so that's really really nice and you also get inbuilt evolution wallpaper app so basically 
I need to connect to the internet to activate uh, uh, what all wallpapers that are available so that is not something that is happening okay uh, let's go to the device information and try to see about the build information at all as you can see I'm using the latest fury prof kernel from Moonbase, our friend Javasin and let's go to the system under the system as you can see it's a user build and um, it's using the raven fingerprint then comes uh, yeah so these all are the information that is available with the build basically the build is really nice and as you can see that the build is really smooth and stuff like that so and plus on top of that i didn't feel any kind of um, lag with the build nor I have not noticed any issues with the build so uh, let us check the safety net now okay okay fine so we have connected to the internet and let us see if we can check the safety net let me launch the magisk app first let me check safety net without hiding the magisk oops something wrong let me check safety net so attestation failed let me hide my disk and uh, check it should pass okay fine success so it passes the safety net with magisk hide now um, I'm going to conclude my review and let me tell you what my impressions are. Overall the ROM is smooth and the ROM is unofficial version. Well people stop complaining about the issue with the official and unofficial. I mean there is nothing wrong with unofficial version only the, only the tag has changed. And in some cases some features or some user interface layout you will only get, to get it with um, official version. Well there is nothing wrong with using an unofficial version um, and um, well my impressions about the rom is overall the rom is really smooth as you can see from the review itself and i really enjoyed using the rom plus the rom is offering us a lot of customization so which is really nice and i had been waiting for evolution x android 12 build um, for poco m3 for a very long time and i'm happy to see that our friend did a nice job um, compiling the rom for our device so which is really great and i really thank him for doing such a wonderful job um well if you want to use the rom definitely you can use it as a daily driver if you wish to because i have not seen any um serious bugs or any serious issues with the rom the rom is working flawlessly and uh, um, as i've told you i have not experienced any lag and stuff like that so if you want to use it definitely you can and try to use it and if you are asking about the battery backup well i do not know try it yourself and uh, try to get uh, um, the best battery backup possible um, so if you want to change the kernel yeah you can change the kernel and use the rom uh, or if you just want to use it with the default there is nothing wrong with that use it with the default so um my final verdict is going to be like um, if you wish to use it definitely you can use it so there is nothing wrong with it and um, many thanks for watching let's talk by george and please make sure to subscribe to our channel thank you